You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Halloween. This is the novelization to the 2018 film with the same name as the book. This is a novelization written by John Passarella. Before I even start about, this, uh, about the book, I just wanted to say that I remember when this book was announced. I remember it being everywhere, like bloody disgusting on Instagram. And at that time, I was a huge novelization fan. I still love novelizations just as much as I did then. But then I was really in the phase where I was just buying novelizations every single month, you know. And when I heard they were doing a novelization for the new Halloween movie, I lost my shit. I, I was so excited. I was like, finally a new novelization to actual like big horror movie, you know? Like when was the last time we got that, right? Must have been like the 90s or 80s. It was a long time since we had a novelization to a good horror movie. But then Titan Books decided to publish a novelization to Halloween, written by John Passarella. And for the people that are unfamiliar with, the, uh, with novelizations, they're basically books based off the screenplay of the film. So you might say, that's just like the movie, you know? <clears throat> But actually, novelization can add a lot of things. Details, some things that weren't, weren't really explained further in the movie. For example, some people don't like the fact, like, who are those random women Michael kills in the movie, right? In the 2018 film. You get to know those characters in the book. You know what I'm saying? You also get inside, like, thoughts from, from uh, Laurie, from Laurie Strode. Like, that's so cool, right? You also get kind of... Uh, like a Michael Myers perspective. Not really his thoughts though, which I'm glad they didn't. Can you imagine? Like, I'm, I'm glad John Passarella didn't do that because can you imagine what it would have been like? It was like, oh, now I'm gonna walk up to these women and kill them, you know? If you, if you actually got to like literally just get Michael's thoughts, they didn't do that. Now, in the original Halloween novelization, you get a really, really long prologue about what happened after he killed his sister. So I was kind of curious if, if they were going to do like a big, big prologue on this one too. It's just completely just written for this book about Michael Myers. You know, what happened in between those 40 years? Are we going to get uh, kind of like a summary of Halloween 2 uh, or their own take on Halloween 2? So what, what happened in the 2018 timeline? You don't get that though. It just starts off with chapter one and the story of the movie, which I kind of feel is better because, which I don't, I don't know if I like that or don't like that. It really depends on what the other story could have or the prologue could have been. Like it could have been of of him just just in handcuffs, you know, with cops, which just wouldn't have worked because you're humanizing Michael Myers. Don't humanize Michael Myers. <laughs> So on one hand at school, but on the other hand, they could have done something original there. Also, the time Halloween came out, I did not see it in theaters because uh, you have to be 16 to see it in theaters. And at the time I was 15, so I did not see it in theaters. I read the book before I saw the movie, so that's why it, it kind of valuable for me in that regard too. But yeah, you know, it's a great book. There is at least one uh, deleted scene in it that I think was also shot, so you can see it now. So it doesn't add too much to the film except for some thoughts. Die-hard Halloween fans should definitely read it. Uh, Halloween fans, you know, make your choice if you like reading, then you should definitely just check them out for yourself if you're really interested or curious. Do you guys think they're gonna make a novelization to Halloween Kills and Halloween Ends? I sure hope so. It would bring some conclusion to my personal life, make me a mentally happier person. Here's a quick editor's note. I did not realize this until now, but at the Halloween watch party last Saturday, they announced that there's a Halloween Kills novelization coming. In that case, probably also an Halloween Ends novelization. So I'll be there to review those as well. If this video does well, I'll make sure I review Halloween and Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. I kind of got to reread those if I do want to re-review them because it's been a long time since I read those. Uh, that's all I got to say about Halloween by John Passarella. See you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight. Roger, stretch and fight to fight.